on Wednesday, the 14th of August, 2019, the Christian Week service for Yeyebo Bagunwa of Undo Kingdom. The late Mrs. Comfort Oshebo Adi Fajemirukun was held at a civic center in Undo State, where family members, friends, and well-wishers gathered to pay their last respect to a great mother. Dignitaries present at the week's service include Chief Dr. Dili Fajemiruku, who is the first child of the deceased, former National Vice Chairman of the All Progressives Congress, APC, Southwest Zone, and member of the board of the NNPC, Chief Pius Akinye Lure, Advertising guru, Mr. Biodi Shubanjo and wife. Professor Senator Lushala Deyeye and wife, who is the Director General of NAVDAC. Island Club Chairman, Prince Philip Kola Bumere and wife. The Alakbe Rovik Beruremo, Oba Diliki Do Basibo. The Oshimawe of Undo Kingdom, His Royal Majesty, Oba Adesimbo Kiladijo, was ably represented by Uluri Olainka Kiladijo. The wake service started with several hymnal renditions, after which the opening prayer was said by Venerable S. Oadile. <laughs> The first Bible reading was taken by Reverend Canon Ayodili, after which the second Bible reading was taken by the first son of the deceased, Chief Dili Fajemirokun. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things. Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifieth. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died. Now in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor past, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. This is the reading of the Lord. There was another session of hymn or renditions, after which Reverend Williams read few Bible verses, while the first daughter of the deceased, the Yeyeoba of Ifewara, Chief Mrs. Sabimbola Fajemiruku, Akirimisi, took the third Bible reading, before Reverend Ayodili rounded up the Bible reading session. Then when Jesus came, we found that he had been in the grave for four days already. Then Bethany was near unto Jerusalem, about 15 followers of and many of the of the Jews came to Martha and Mary to comfort. To comfort them concerning the brother. The matter, as soon as she heard that Jesus was or was coming, went and met him. But Mary sat still in the house. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though were dead, yet shall he be. And whosoever believeth and believeth in me shall never die. Believeth thou who 
this. The same also here. Yeah, Lord, I believe that thou art the Christ, the Son of God, we should come unto the world. That is the reason of, of God's will. This was immediately followed by the goodwill messages of family members, friends, and well wishers. I congratulate the children to have come from the stream of this woman. She's loving, she's loved, she's caring, she's cared for, on top of all, she's superhuman. I'm not saying this because she's my, she's my sister, I won't use the word worse, because she will ever be. I may say in a way, she was a philanthropist, because if it was possible that a neighbor needs two eyes in an operation, if only my sister could have a supplement, she would go there, take out my two eyes and kill this woman. She was that much. May her soul rest in perfect peace. May the light perpetual shine on you. And don't forget, let your beings be coming back to your children, to guide them in all their endeavors, to bless them, and to rekindle their interest in everything that were your interest. I do, sister. The Sermon of the Day, delivered by Venerable S. Adelaide, focused on the book of Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27, which stressed on the inevitability of death. The cleric who said, what everyone should look forward to is a life after death, implored everyone to live worthy lives. The officiating minister ended with prayers. It is no longer a news that we will die. If anybody is threatening you with death, it's, no, it's, not, it's not threatening you with anything. Though none of us here wants to die. If I ask us now, who is next? Who wants to go to heaven? Every one of us wants to go to heaven. We raise up our hands. But if I say, who wants to die? Nobody wants to die. But want to go to heaven. But you cannot go to heaven except you die. And so the Bible passage is so relevant at any point in time. Open our eyes to the fact of three things. Number one, the universality of death. Number two, the certainty of death. And number three, that after death, that will not be the end. We are going to face judgment. Whichever category you have found yourself, what unifies us, every one of us, is what? Can we echo it? Is what? That shows that one day you are going to die. And that's why, why I said it's not the news. What is news is where are you going after death? Immediately after the wake service, everyone converged on the premises of the deceased where they had enough to eat and drink as Dapsin took care of the dance session, providing very good music. On Thursday, the 15th of August, 2019, the funeral service for the late Mrs. Comfort Fajemirokun was held at St. Stephen's Cathedral Church, Suruliri, in Ondo State, where family members, friends, and well-wishers all gathered to pay their last respect to a matriarch. The late Mrs. Comfort Fajemiroko, who slept in the Lord on the 12th of July, 2019, was born on the 26th of March, 1932, in Iju Undo. She hails from two royal families in Undo Kingdom. Her late father, Chief Samuel Adikwetun, 
was the grandson of Princess Fagbola of Anoka Street, Undo, the 28th of Shimawe of Undo Kingdom, His Royal Highness Oba Arili Kolasi. In the late 30s, her parents returned to Undo Kingdom with the rest of the family. When she was still in her teenage age, at that time, there were few opportunities in the then Undo province for girls of her age to further their education. That situation kept her attached to her mother, who was a big-time trader in Undo and Okitipupa province. She was left with no other option than to learn the art of trading textile and other merchandise until 1944, when she relocated to Lagos to stay with her late brother, Chief Stephen Akikwadi Adipetu of blessed memory. In Lagos, she settled in quick with business and enrolled at the Miss Gallard Sewing and Fashion Design Institute, one of the prestigious and famous fashion schools at that time. She mastered the art and design of sewing fanciful bridal dresses. Thereafter, the late Mrs. Comfort Fajemi Roku ventured into other businesses where she performed extraordinarily well. In due course, her charisma, beauty, intelligence, poise and dedication to work attracted industrial guru and business tycoon, the late Chief Henry Uluyidi Fajemiroku, who got married to her in the year 1949, and they were blessed with children. The late Mrs. Comfort Fajemiroku left behind six children, 22 grandchildren and 29 great-grandchildren. The funeral service commenced as ministers and children of the late Mrs. Comfort Fajemiroku received her body at the church entrance where Chief Dili Fajemiroku alongside his siblings ushered the remains of their mother into the sanctuary. There was the reading of Psalm 90 by Reverend Fiyo Jelabi and some hymn renditions. <laughs> by the right Reverend Fajemiroku. He started by congratulating family members of the late Mrs. Comfort Fajemiroku on surviving their mother, which he said is the prayer of every parent. Reverend Fajemiroku talked about three elements the late Mrs. Comfort Fajemiroku held on to, which are love, peace, and orderliness, stressing that people should embrace these three virtues as to help a great deal. Mama loved her children. Loved them to the extent that even when she had to leave their father for the sake of peace, she did not forget them. I have seen mothers who left the husband's place and forgot everything about whatever happened to her children that she had left behind. Mama also was not like that. And that is why she was able to track the life of all her children till the very end of her life. She did not play with any one of them 
with any of their lives, she held their lives like raw egg that must not fall. Because she loved peace in her husband's soul and she loved order. These three things are things we virtue that every community must cherish. And I pray the Lord will give us the grace to exhibit these three virtues at every point in our lives in Jesus' name. The funeral church service ended with the closing prayer said by Reverend S. Oni, after which the internment rites followed. <laughs> The reception ceremony was held at the Civic Center Ondo, where friends, family members and well-wishers had enough to eat and drink. Former National Vice Chairman of the All Progressives Congress APC Southwest Zone and a member of the board of the NNPC, Chief Pius Akin Lure, former Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Alani Akinriade retired, Otumba Dejo Shibogun. The Chairman Trika Holdings Limited, Mr. Bionto Shabanjo, Professor Senator Lushala Deye and wife, Dr. Yemio Gumbi, the Chairman and CEO Biscon Communications, Prince Basil Atilo, among many other important personalities, graced the reception program. It was basically merriment all the way, as the Ayoshi Kemi and Tokbe Olajen Bisi took turns to entertain guests as the children of the late Mrs. Comforts or Shebo Ade Fajamirokum took turns to hit the dance floor. <laughs> Communications. It's farewell to the late Mrs. Comfort Ashebwade Fajemiroko. <laughs> <laughs>